name is Bessie Miller. I'm 53 years old. I'm a coach. I coach grade school basketball at St. Phillips Grade School. I coach high school softball at Carrick High School, which is in the city of Pittsburgh. I coach summer softball in the Elliott Weston Athletic Association. And I also play softball for a women's team. I started coaching softball in 1988 at St. James Grade School in the West End. During the summer of that year, I started coaching at the Elliott West End Athletic Association for the ages of 16 to 18, softball. The sport I like to coach best is softball because I like playing softball, but I started playing baseball at a young age because our association didn't have softball for girls, so I played Pony League at the age of 13 and 14. And as I grew into playing baseball, then softball became a little bit easier for me. So the age group that I like coaching best is 16 to 18 because the girls are better understanding of the game and I like to help with the um, changing of their hormone levels and teaching them about life lessons that they need to learn through the sport. I don't even know how to explain it. Like, she's like my mom to me at this point and she pushes me and whereas like whenever my dad would he would just kind of like baby me and I don't know it's just like it's nice to have Bessie as a coach just because like she knows how to push girls without hurting their feelings and like she she just knows what she's doing whenever she does it. The girls that stood out the most to me was probably in 1991 when um, St. James, St. Martin's, and Holy Innocence had merged and we ended up with a basketball team at Elizabeth Seton. The girls were so excited about a new coach coming in, having girls basketball, which they have never had at Holy Innocence, and um, these group of girls were just over the moon about um, just playing basketball. One of them was my niece Jessica, who was there her first year. And then there was three other girls. Their names were uh, Katie, Corey, and Erin. Corey didn't really play basketball, but she was my manager. And uh, I became really close with these three girls, which they were, you know, pretty much were part of my life for the last four years of that, from that year on. Um, to this day, um, they are still my friends. And I ended up um, having a daughter, and I named my daughter after Katie, Corey, and Aaron. So that year holds a special heart, a place in my heart because of what a val what valued friendship I have with these kids today. And they treat my daughter Caitlin like they, they, as one of their own. So wherever I go in life, um, that will always be something I'll always treasure as uh, one of my favorite years in coaching girls basketball, whether it's softball, or whether it's whatever sport there is, that's probably going to be the most um, memorable, exciting, and refreshing year of coaching. Hello, my name's Katie. I met Bessie in 1992 when she came to Elizabeth Seton to coach girls basketball. Prior to Bessie coming, it was only a boys team, so she started the girls team within our grade school. Not only did she teach us about the game, but also about life. We became very close with her and her values of life. After we left grade school, we continued our friendship that still goes on strongly today. And we also saw her over the summer on the softball field, which she also taught. Bessie Miller is an idol of mine, especially because after all these years, she's still coaching the game and teaching others about the foundations of life as she did with us 
me and my teammates. And this has been going on for over 22 years now, our friendship. One of the reasons I um, decided this year, 2014-15 season, to retire from basketball is because I've been doing it for 27 years. Uh, my daughter is a junior, going to be a junior in um, college. I wanted to be able to um, travel. I want to be able to go and visit my family. I have family that lives out of state. Um, and I just feel that um, 27 years I have did a lot of things for the young girls in the Catholic Diocese. I'm teaching them how to play basketball, taught them about life lessons, taught them that you know you should always continue and uh, flourish and teach them about being together as a family and wherever you go in life, no matter where you go, always remember that um, you know being part of a team and being part of a family is what's important. I'm ready to play.